healing for change, the healing that needs to happen in the mind and in the heart and the soul. How does that happen? It happens through, I believe, spirituality. People need to know uh, Jesus in a, in a salvific way and the Holy Spirit comes in and can change all things. And, and then also uh, through counseling. So counseling, I always speak about this example. I have my master's, I don't think I'm that smart, but I got my master's and I'd never been open to counseling and I had carried some pain, some shame, ne negative self-talk, bad sarcasm, my sarcasm is perfect now. And uh, I had never been through counseling. Then finally, when I was about, I don't know, 32, I got in a counseling program called Life Skills and it took about a year, but literally I felt healed on the inside. That made such an impression for me. And I've been a pastor before and I know God's word and, and whatnot, but I was carrying so many things. And it wasn't until I sat myself with a counselor and a healer that I got healed. And I think it's made me a better human. It's helped me accept love from other people, God's love and set the trajectory I feel uh, for more qualitative life. Mm -hmm. We want that healing for change to happen to our teachers, to our uh, in-country directors in our orphanages, and for all children that want to step into healing for change. And so one of the things that happens when a child has a hard upbringing is that there's likely multiple traumatic events that happened in their life. Um, it's really, trauma is anything that wouldn't have happened in the Garden of Eden. So, but you've got small T trauma and big T trauma. And the children who we're serving, these vulnerable kids, have likely experienced a lot of big T trauma. Um, they may have witnessed domestic abuse in their home. They've experienced food insecurity. Um, they may have been molested by a family member. Um, there's no nightmare we can dream up that isn't already the reality of a child. And so while we believe uh, fully that God is in control um, and that God wants to heal these kids, we think that one of the ways, we believe as an organization, one of the ways God does bring true healing um, is through a saving relationship with Jesus Christ and then also through counseling. And so it's through these counseling programs that we're providing in our country programs that they're able to gain confidence that then allows the practical skills that these children are gaining to really set them on a trajectory to live an abundant life. We've got an example in our Nicaragua program, a young woman um, who started to learn English, but she said she didn't have the confidence. And she had no one else had even told her she could be successful with her life. And then when we brought in these counselors to meet with the students, she said that it all combined together. And now she's in university and she's also a teacher in the program. And she credits not just the ESL, but also the counseling she was receiving with really helping gain the confidence and give her hope of a better future.